Hello, welcome to 3ds Max tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the uh, deformable tool bomb. Um, and this tool is really useful when you want to add it with something else that's more advanced, but on its own it's kind of primitive. So we're just going to be looking at it for some fun and some basics. Open up 3ds Max, or if you already have it open, reset. Once you've done that, go to the creation panel and over to the space warps button. Click on the fly out here and go geometric deformable and make a bomb somewhere over on this side of the grid. It doesn't really matter where it is as long as you can see it clearly. You may notice that it's just a bunch of lines. There are no polygons and we can see right through it. And that's because if you go to render this scene, you will not see the bomb. It's just imaginary and acts upon real things. Go back to the geometry button and make a sphere, a box, or whatever. A sphere will show you the results much better because it's higher polygon count. And if you go to segments and increase that to 64, you'll see it even clearer. What we're going to do now is associate the bomb to the sphere. Right now what's happening is the bomb's exploding, but it's not actually exploding onto anything. Its forces are being dispersed without touching anything. What we want to do is make this sphere get hit by the bomb's explosion. And if you can imagine the bomb exploding like a normal bomb, it goes out in a spherical shape. So right now where our bomb is in relation to our sphere, it will come and explode and our whole sphere will explode to the right. If we move the bomb to the other side by pressing W and dragging it here, now the bomb's explosion will force the ball to the left. You can go ahead and put that back if you want or do not. Basically what a bomb does in 3ds Max is it rips apart every polygon and puts them as their own uh, individual polygon that isn't connected to the others and simulates an explosion with the forces that you've set on your bomb. So what we're going to do now is link the bomb to the sphere. Click on this one, find to space warp, which is what this is. Click on the bomb, click on the sphere, or drag to the sphere, I mean. Click on creation. I mean selection and drag this to five and right at five you can see the polygon yeah you know, the polygon just gets separated like that and at six it starts to explode and if we zoom out here and press play it explodes and if we move this bomb to the right it explodes in fact, we can toy around with it. The simulation keeps running. And if we go inside the bomb, of course, it is going to explode totally outwards, like we said. Now, this is great and all, but what if you wanted to do something cooler? So delete everything and reset 3ds Max if you want. Go to Systems, Biped, and create a bi biped right in the middle. Go to Space Warps. And bomb, you'll have to go back to geometric deformable if you reset. And put a bomb somewhere here and behind his head like it is in here. With this done, we are now going to edit the bomb parameters. So go to modify with the bomb selected. We can make the strength a little bit more. To make it 2, add some spin, 0.35. What we're going to do is have fragment size, minimum 1, of course, uh, maximum 2. And what that does is now two polygons could be sticking together and explode and kind of stay together. Uh, if you have min 1, max 1, they'll all explode into 1. And if you have min 2, max 2, they'll all explode into 2, etc. So this gives us a random chance of getting 2 or 1. Gravity, of course, we want 1 times Earth gravity, which is roughly 9.8 meters per second. Squared. <laughs> Chaos is just a random explosion thing. It makes it more chaotic. Seed also does that. So we're going to add 0.2 to seed and, or I guess, 1 seed and 1 chaos. 0.2 chaos, sorry. The detonation is the amount of frames that have to pass before it explodes. So right now it's at 5, which means 5 frames pass before it explodes. What we're going to do is set this to 
10, and that will give us a little bit of a delay before it explodes. With our bomb all set up, we can go back to bind a space warp up here, click on the bomb, click on his head, and we can get a better angle by rotating like this, and maybe zooming in. Now when we zoom, scroll the wheel, I mean, we can see at 10, he gets fragmented, and he explodes outwards into the camera. This looks really cool if you render it, and if we zoom out, we can hit play. You can see that that chaos and strength really made it explode a lot more than that sphere. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to do bombs and whatnot, and I hope you continue to use 3ds Max for your enjoyment, and had a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.